Hi, I'm Jay Ha, the founder of Scientific Analog. Today, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to X model, and especially a comparison with real number Verilog. X model is a collection of libraries and primitives that empowers your system Verilog simulator with fast and accurate analog mixed signal simulation. In other words, with X model, you can model analog circuits and simulate them efficiently along with digital models entirely in System Verilog. You may have heard of Real Number Verilog, which is another way of modeling analog circuits in System Verilog. So how is X model different from Real Number Verilog? That's what I'd like to talk about. Real Number Verilog uses real or W real type variables to express analog signals that continuously vary in time. Since every change in the signal value triggers an event in Verilog, and the execution time is proportional to the number of events, real number Verilog models typically have to find a right trade-off between speed and accuracy. On the other hand, X model uses a proprietary type called XReal. An XReal type variable expresses an analog signal in a functional form, such as a sum of exponentials, avoiding a large number of events being triggered while preserving the highest level of accuracy. This functional expression used by XReal type variables is the key to the fast and accurate event-driven simulation of analog models in System Verilog. For instance, when simulating the response of a low-pass filter, X model updates the functional expression for the output only when that for the input signal has changed, performing a truly event-driven simulation. Here's a quick comparison of the models written in X model and in real number Verilog. Although they are both described in System Verilog syntax, there are a number of differences. First, X model uses XReal type for analog signals. On the other hand, real number Verilog uses real or WReal types. Second, an X model model is basically a collection of X model primitives connected through signals. X model provides more than 100 primitives with which you can express any analog circuit behavior easily. In fact, you can also compose models in a schematic form using Glister, in which case no coding is necessary. On the contrary, real number Verilog models require coding. I say, real number Verilog puts the responsibility of writing an analog simulator to you. Third, the model composed with X-model primitives and X-real signals will run in an event-driven fashion in System Verilog. On the other hand, the real number Verilog model in this example approximates the continuous time filter as a discrete time filter, essentially performing a fixed time step simulation. As you'll see shortly with the examples, this leads to a very inefficient simulation with a strong trade-off between speed and accuracy. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of two PLL models, each written in X model and in real number Verilog respectively. A phase lock loop PLL is basically a feedback loop consisting of a phase frequency detector PFD, a loop filter LF, and a voltage control oscillator VCO. First, this PFD measures the phase error between the input clock and output clock. Then the loop filter, for instance made of a charge pump, adjusts the control voltage to the VCO so that the output clock generated by the VCO has a phase lock to that of the input clock. You can download a demonstration package file from our website. And when you extract it, you'll get a subfolder named PLL, which has three subfolders with the names RNV, standing for Real Number Verilog, X Model, and X model underscore CLM. Let's compare the models written in X model and in real number Verilog. The first one I'd like to compare is the models for PFD. PFD is typically modeled as two resettable D flip flops and an end gate with a non zero delay. In X model, you can directly list these logic elements using the X model primitives. In Verilog, you can describe the same functionality 
using always or assign statements. The difference is the signal types being used. X model uses X bit, while Verilog uses wire or reg. The X bit type is capable of expressing exact timings of binary signals without being constrained by the simulation time step. The next one is the loop filter. These models describe a loop filter made of a charge pump that has switchable current sources and a passive filter made of resistor and capacitors. In X model, you can describe this loop filter using transition, filter, and add primitives. In real number Verilog, the filter response is computing using this recursive equation for an approximate infinite impulse response discrete time filter. This sharp one sign indicates that the filter output is computed every time step, which becomes the major reason for the real number Verilog's slow execution time. The VCO model is also straightforward. Both models compute the oscillator frequency from the input voltage and generate the clock with the corresponding frequency. Again, in X model, this is done using two primitives, polynomial function and frequency to clock primitives. The real number Verilog model realizes the same by scheduling the next clock transition with the delay computed from the input voltage and the corresponding frequency. However, the precision of this delay is set by the simulation time step and you'll see that the simulation results may show some inaccuracies unless the time step is fine enough. Finally, let's compare the test benches. For a fair comparison, we're going to use almost the same test bench that supplies a reference input clock at 2 GHz and setting the PLL initial condition at 0V which corresponds to 1.5 GHz oscillator frequency. For waveform recording, the X model test bench dumps the waveform in a JEZ format which is optimized for this event-driven simulation, while the real number Verilog test bench dumps in an FSDV format which is optimized for dumping a large number of real events. To run the simulation, you can use a command called xmodel. This is simply a wrapper script which launches the system Verilog simulator, in this case NC Verilog, with the proper libraries and options to use xmodel. You can type xmodel dash dash command to see what commands and options are actually used to run the simulation. The usage of xmodel command is xmodel followed by the source file list, test bench file name, and the name of the top level module, and optionally the simulation time and the time scale. It is also possible to run real number Verilog simulation using this xmodel command. Now, let's compare the simulated waveforms of the two PLL models. xmodel offers a waveform viewer named xwave which can read our JEZ waveform format as well as the FSDV format. Type xwave xmodel.jez on the command line and load the signal's name clock underscore ref, clock underscore out, and V control. You can see from the waveform that the PLO properly acquires lock since even when the control voltage starts from zero, it converts to 500 mV nicely, which corresponds to 2 GHz output frequency. Another way of looking at this is that initially, the input and output clocks of the PLL are not aligned, but as the control voltage converges, those two clocks do become aligned in phase and frequency. Now let's load the waveform from the real number Verilog simulation. I'm going to load the V control waveform from the real number Verilog simulation and overlap it with that of the X model simulation. From this view, the two waveforms seem pretty well matched, but there are some 
key differences. First, the number of events on the waveforms are vastly different. The number of events on the X model waveform is very low thanks to its event-driven algorithm as explained before. However, the real number Verilog models essentially update the V control value every time step and generate a lot of events. Second, the accuracy of the real number Verilog models relies on the fine time step and the results may show some undesired artifacts due to that. And these results indicate that one picosecond time step is not fine enough for this example. However, if you make the time step finer, the real number Verilog simulation becomes proportionally slower. This chart shows that the simulation time for real number Verilog increases by almost 10x every time you reduce the time step by the same factor. On the other hand, X model gives nearly constant simulation time regardless of the time step thanks to its event driven algorithm. In this PLL example, X model beats real number Verilog in all cases while providing the highest accuracy as well. You can try this benchmark yourself by typing make benchmark in each folder. The make file is set up in the folder that will run the same simulation for different time scales for the simulation time period of 50 microseconds. However, good luck with the real number Verilog simulations, since they not only take a very long time, but also create a huge waveform file. Another outstanding advantage of XModel over real number Verilog is that XModel can support circuit level modeling. In other words, instead of describing the functionality of the circuits, as in the previous models, you can describe the topology of the circuits directly. For instance, an alternative way of modeling the charge pump loop filter in the PLL is to model it as is, in other words, as a circuit consisting of current sources, switches, register, and capacitors. XModel provides these basic circuit elements as well as transistors as primitives with which you can describe any analog circuits as you would do in SPICE. Yet, the simulation still runs entirely in system Verilog in an event-driven fashion without invoking SPICE. Here's a demo. The XModel underscore CLM cell folder contains the same models as in the XModel cell folder except for the loop filter model that I just explained. Using the same command, or simply just typing make, you can launch the simulation and check the results using X-Wing. The results are identical to the previous XModel results using filter primitives, exhibiting the same number of event points on the waveform, as well as equally fast simulation speed. This chart summarizes the key differences between XModel and Real Number Verilog. XModel and Real Number Verilog are both capable of simulating analog models in System Verilog which is the desired platform for verifying most mixed-signal chips today. However, XModel performs event-driven simulation, achieving both fast speed and high accuracy, regardless of the simulation time step. While Real Number Verilog typically performs fixed time step simulation, which yields a conflicting trade-off between speed and accuracy. Another strong advantage of XModel compared to real number Verilog is that you can simulate circuit level models in system Verilog. And writing model with XModel is just connecting primitives with no coding necessary. This makes analog modeling so easy and fun. I hope this short video convinced you that XModel has many strong advantages over real number Verilog. XModel is the fastest way to simulate analog mixed signal circuits in system Verilog. Thank you.